Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make my... Uh, because this has a strict... Uh, I want uh, the circle in here to be a specific size. I'm going to make this as a round board instead. So I'm going to do that is I'm just going to select it and delete it. And then we're going to go on the board shape and then I can do outline circle. And then I can drag from the middle and outwards and then I'm going to place it until I get a circle. And I can adjust the size of it if I click on it here. Uh, so here it has radius. This one is in mils. That's how we work in electrical workspace. If I want it in millimeters, I go on the view and I change this to millimeters. Um, and that's going to also change the, the radius over here to millimeter size instead. So I want this in millimeters to be 50 mils, 50 millimeters. No, that's wrong. It's going to be, I don't remember the exact number. It doesn't really make a huge difference. I'm going to make it 40. I think I can make everything fit into the radius. It was 35 divided by 2. It's 18. I'm pretty sure I made it 18. Can I make everything fit there? I'm going to have to see. So, okay. So first thing is that I'm going to have to move. Oops. So I'm just going to move the switches into position. So I can drag one, one, one of them right in the center right there. And I'm actually going to switch this back into a mills. And I want a grid size of 50 for placing my, my switches. That's fine. So just to make sure they are aligned, I'm going to put them right on top of each other. And then I'm going to put them to the side. Let's count one, two, three, four four in spacing seems okay. So that looks okay. And so this reminds me that I actually have to do DRC. And the DRC are the rules for how close stuff can be to everything. And you find it up here under rules DRC and you click on DRC and this one opens up the rule manager for how the clearances has to be so that's for example how much there has to be between lines and how close stuff can be to the edge and we want to have this way larger than it already is here because we're going to CNC mill it so what I do is I'm going to use one of these um, pointy PCBs engraver PCB engravers so PCB Graver. Let's see if I can find a small picture of it. Bit. I'm going to use one of these here. And the one I'm using has 0 0.2 millimeter flat on the end. So I'm going to use that as the way to configure my DIC, DRC. So for clearances in between these pads, I need there to be 0 0.2. And then I'm going to do one just to make sure that there is a little bit more spacing, millimeters. Uh, and I'm going to make that the same distance to all the different pads and everything here in DS. And this is SMD that it has this, they, you can like narrow it down if you want to wire it through. I'm just going to leave those be. The distance to the edge is again going to be 0 0.2 and hole to hole is again going to be 0 0.2 millimeters. I can adjust this and the minimum width that I want is I think 15 mils is pretty uh, pretty okay and uh, the whole sizes are just gonna leave those as well I'm gonna leave this as well and all this except for these thermal insulators I want the bit to be able to come in here and actually engrave through so I'm gonna make that the 0.21 millimeters as well Mask I'm going to leave be in miscellaneous. So you can actually save this if you want to. I already have a, one of these built, for example, for either a 0 0.2 or a 0, it's actually 0 0.8. Um, 
uh, bits instead. So I'm just going to use the configuration file. I'm going to make this file here available for you guys to download online. So I'm going to apply that and select it. So that also will get rid of my, my lines here. And then I'm going to place in a microprocessor. I'm going to place it here. And I actually want it on the bottom layer. And the way to flip things on the bottom layer is that you click mirror. And that's going to make it blue. And the reason why it's blue is because you're in the layers. You can see that red is top and the blue is bottom size, the bottom. And that's also going to flip all the names and everything uh, to be mirrored. And so now it's just all about, so I'm just going to mirror them all of the SMD components. I want all of those to be on the back side, on the bottom side. And then I'm going to do move. And so I get these air wires. The air wires are these thin things here. And that, that tells me how I should connect stuff up. So I'm looking for what it actually connects to. And this one looks to be the pull down resistor for one of the legs. So I'm going to put that. Um, it's connected to this one, I'm pretty sure of. So I'm just going to make those two close. And, and find the specific resistors that I need for all of the buttons. I'm going to place those first. So I can't really get this one to align. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the grid size to 25. And that's going to allow me to have a little bit more of adjustability. Let's see, I need it to be even finer, so I need it to be 10. So yeah, pretty close. There we go. So yeah, as it is a quite new thing that Eagle and Fusion has merged, I, I, I realize that sometimes I get these crashes and I think I hope that Autodesk will fix it as soon as possible, but we'll have to live with it for now and I hope they soon have to fix it. Okay guys, so um, I'm just going to quickly go over and find and place all the all the components and everything on the PCB. That's going to be specific to your case. So I'm not going to go uh, through how to do that individually. So I'll just kind of speed up this process and see you guys in a bit. Okay, so now I placed all the components on the board as I'm close to where I want them. I'm going to need a little bit more fine adjustment when I start wiring stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the ground plane. So I want to make sure that, so as this is copper all the way around, and I'm going to mill away the different tracks that, or the wires, I just want the rest to be connected to what we call a ground plane. And the way I take care of that is that I can right click on, and Usually you can actually right click on the border here and you can say, co you can say uh, copy as polygon. But you cannot do that to circles actually. I'm just going to show you what I mean if I do a quick other board selection here. So if I just make sure that it's 90 degree corners and I'm going to close it like this. So then I can right click convert to polygon and copy. And that's going to allow me to put this uh, on the bottom plane and 
and then it's going to give me these dash lines that I can type name to and then I can view it as ground and that's going to make me it's going to make a ground plane for me I can't do that for circles yet so this must be some kind of an error for Autodesk so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do polygon I'm going to do it manually instead so I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to type that I want a style to be curved and it doesn't need to be exact that it goes on here but I can uh, I can make it a little oversize so that I cover everything uh, but this is going to turn up in inside of fusion so I, I want it still to be pretty neat and then I can type in ground and that's going to give me a dashed line all the way around telling me that this has now been now been a ground plane I can see if I can move this a little closer like that okay so this dash line is now a polygon and if I do this one here pull polygons it's gonna make this as a ground plane you can see that now it connected all the different grounds to, together we are these thermal paths right here so that's what I want um, the size of them look really big so I'm wondering if I did select a different DRC I did I didn't I don't want the 0 0.8 one I want the 0 0.2 edition of this for especially for SMD and then I'm gonna, just gonna do select and if I now pour polygons again that's gonna resize I think maybe there is something a little wrong with my file here 0 0.2 and supply you see there 0 0.2 one there was the mistake so I'm just gonna fix that and then I'm gonna make sure to save this and override the current one so I don't get this mistake again yes select and four polygons there they go a lot smaller that's how I want them to look when working we don't want this to be uh, looking like this so what we do is we do on poor polygons so now it got rid of all the air wires for the ground planes because they have already been connected so I'm not going to worry about those yet I'm going to check that they are all connected in the end and so this blue line right here comes from some layers that are turned on and I don't really want them to be turned on it's these things here that I actually always just turn off uh, because I don't really need them for anything I don't know what they do but not that important so then I want to do manual routing so that's an option that I have I also do have um, this quick on the quick router I have the auto route option and if I do that I can turn it that it now is set to auto for the top layer and the bottom layer uh, that's actually what I of want but I don't want the top layer because I want everything to be one side plane here and then I can do effort I can do high and then I can do continue and start and that's going to try to calculate now some different options for me for wiring all this together And it's going to use the DRC rules so it's going to make sure that it follows DRC and keeps the distances to the different tracks that it needs to do and this is hopefully going to calculate one there is able to have zero vias so that's what we want we, we don't want any vias up here and uh, it cannot do that actually because it doesn't doesn't have a top plane to do anything about so it's just going to do that and if I now do end job you see that I actually created all the tracks gonna hope it doesn't crash it didn't so you see actually it also updated my polygon uh, so it keeps now a, a distance between the ground plane and the, the individual tracks if you if yours doesn't do that you do this one uh, pure, pure, pure polygons and that's just gonna update everything and make sure so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for air wires so I have one here and over to this ground and that means that this ground in here and this ground out here and in here has been separated because of these wires that are down here 
So this is not a successful auto route. Um, it doesn't have everything connected together. So I'm going to have to take care of that manually. And as this is not a, a video on how to do that and not on a video on how to do wiring design, I'm just going to fast forward you through how I'm going to fix this. And I'm also going to clean up a lot of these lines that I want to be moved. And uh, that's just uh, playing around a little back and forward and might rotate some of these uh, components and, and flip them a little around. So, but that's not what this video is about.